I'm here at Duck Creek Mobile Home Park. To my left is the water pump for the entire neighborhood, and to my right is John Machado's home. It's less than 30 feet from this pump, and yet still his water pressure is next to nothing. That's on full blast. It's been a difficult few weeks for John Machado, as he and his family have been forced to try and live without water pressure. Everybody in the park is being affected at some, in some form or another. There's 31 houses here. I have the worst of everything. In fact, the situation got so bad for the Machados that his wife and three daughters are staying at his parents' house. You know, my kids want stuff at the store and I tell them no because they don't need it. How can you tell your kids that they don't need water or they can't have water? As a father, part of me feels, feels like I failed. Without water pressure, the Machados have lost the ability to do regular tasks like washing the dishes, cleaning their laundry, or even just showering. And they aren't the only ones. I have such low water pressure that my RO system will not function. And that's where my drinking water comes from. Marilyn Lyons Pogue has lived in Duck Creek Park for 10 years. She says the lack of water has been a helpless feeling. I'm getting emotional just thinking about this. We moved out here to for peace and quiet and, you know, our retirement years. And um, it's really upsetting. Duck Creek Park is owned by a company in Washington State. MTN spoke with them over the phone Tuesday afternoon, and they say they are working diligently to solve the problem. But Machado says it's been extremely difficult to get in touch with the owners. He says most of his text messages and emails to owners haven't received a response. And this letter was taped to doors last week with no in-person contact. But when you don't have communication, this is when you start to get frustrated. To actually have a family have to move out because of this, that's where I draw the line. And he's not the only one. We take this for granted. And boy, never again will I take it for granted. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.